Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back. Thank you so much for watching in advance. I don't know why I'm talking really slow right now. Um, so this morning, got up, walked Sebastian. Well, first we went to um, a local coffee shop, Vienta y Agua, and, uh, or it's Vient, Viento y Agua, wind and water in Spanish. Um, in Long Beach, and it's actually the place where I've done a couple of open mics, my only <laughs> open mics. Um, but I really want to support that place, so I got a cold brew, and Jeff got hot chocolate, Mexican hot chocolate. Um, and then we went over to the bluff um, to walk Sebastian because he has to be walked. Um, and surprisingly, there weren't a ton of people out there. Lately, there's been a lot of people out there. Um, and I'd say like 50-50 wear masks. I mean, when we're outside and it's like 75, 80 degrees, and we're walking the dog, when I'm exercising, like I don't, like I'll have my mask, like, or like, cause I use a headband like around my neck, but I, I don't know, don't hate me. But um, yeah, cause it's like hot and stuff. Um, and that supposedly kills the germs. But this thing is crazy. It's like, don't hate me for saying this, okay? Because I'm not saying I would want it one way or the other. I was just thinking about it logically today and about the greater good. Because a lot of people say, you know, you should always do what's best for the greater good. And here's the thing. A lot of older people are very um, susceptible to dying from this illness. Um, and younger people are suffering for it. And because younger people are forced to stay inside, they're basically risking the rest of their lives for somebody who's already lived their life and is living in a nursing home and you know, we're maybe gonna save them a few more years. Whereas somebody that just got out of college and just opened up their own business with a loan that they qualified for because they had been working their credit up since then and built a business plan, and blah, 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 is done. <laughs> um, because analysts are saying that this is gonna last like, it could last two years. And then I guess that Fauci guy, Fauci was saying that I saw a headline that said he thinks there could be a vaccine in January. That's still a really long time away and people have lost so much money and it's just, it's destroying lives. Um, but you know, then again, I wouldn't definitely like if one of my family members got this and passed away, I would be destroyed. Um, so I don't know what the right answer to that is, but I think that it's great that it's not my decision. <laughs> it doesn't have to be on my shoulders. Um, and I think everyone should be grateful for that because imagine if you were the one who had to make that decision. Um, that's what I always say when I'm at the shelter, when I volunteer, um, and they animals get put down <laughs> um, because Sometimes it'll be a dog that I've worked with for a long time or a dog that's been there a couple of months and we've tried and we've tried and we've tried to rehabilitate it. <clears throat> it's really different. The shelter's different now because the city got involved and they got a manager and blah, blah, blah. You guys can read about it if you want, but um, it's city of Long Beach. But um, I always tell myself if I had to be the one to decide which dogs get put down and which ones get put up for adoption, it would be extremely difficult. <clears throat> but it becomes a case of danger. I was nearly attacked by one dog and pinned in a kennel and it was a dangerous dog. Um, when the dog got out of there, had he had the right home and the right Owners, he might have been able to be re re rehabilitated. I don't know. Um, but anyway, that's beside the point. I don't know why I'm going off on that. So anyway, one of the interesting, interesting things about being on the bluff, which is like, if you don't aren't familiar with Long Beach, I have a video that will show you parts of it. 
um, I don't know why it's called. I'll put the link be below. Anyway, um, when you go on the bluff, it's like a cliff overlooking the ocean. There's police helicopters that fly by. Every time I've been there, I've seen one. So I'm pretty sure they fly by like every half hour um, to monitor the people on the beach. Um, and we saw a few people on the beach today and it was just like a group of people that was working out and like <clears throat> this one lady was walking on the bluff and she was so pissed she was like wearing her mask and like under her mask she was like assholes and what the hell do they think they're doing because they were running like on the beach and I think it's kind of disrespectful like Jeff always does like I'm such a rule follower but I think it's disrespectful to everyone else because it's like the rules in place and like you think you're better than everyone else kind of thing I think that's why people get pissed um but anyway here's what I was thinking about today I was thinking about and this is like a really deep thought I was thinking about how I've been doing a lot of like thinking and soul searching lately and trying to live in the moment and listening to different gurus and you know self self-help if you will people and um so I was like really in my head today and I was like okay I'm back here when I brought myself back down to normal and I realized in that moment I was like man I miss so much of life when I'm just in my head worrying about stuff or thinking about stuff and like I've been really good at it lately where I'm able to be like okay I'm back and like look around and like if you guys have ever like done that like if you can train yourself to do that regularly and just like sit there and just like look at the world around you and think of your existence and your being it will change your life because it you take in the fact that everything is happening around you you have no control over anything we have no control over anything in our lives nothing the only thing that we have control over is how we react and so that's what i was thinking about today that was my deep thought um but I, so yeah think about that you guys Anyway, so the the other thing that I want to mention is really, really horrible. Um, but I'll talk about it more tomorrow. But basically in Long Beach this week, a woman ran across the freeway through a traffic light and was run over and fatally killed. Um, and she was obviously homeless because it was near an area where all the homeless people hang out. And um, I'm sure she was mentally ill. Um, and it made me, hor I was horrified at first because I was like, oh my God, what if that's the girl? Because I don't know if you guys, in a, a video a few days ago, I talked about this girl that was wandering in the middle of the street and she was out of her mind. And I was like, should we call the cops? And, and then when this, hear about this woman getting killed, I'm like, oh my God. And Jeff's like, it's not the same person. And I'm, I doubt it is, um, but yeah, horrible, absolutely horrible. Um, her family probably forgot about her, doesn't know where she is, or she has no family. Um, so yeah, it's really sad when some of us end up in that situation where everyone gives up and there's no one to help you back to reality. Um, anyway, hate to end on a horrible note like that, but I really wanted to talk about that today. Uh, so that's, you know, what's going on with me. I hope you guys are good. I know I kind of rambled on in the beginning. So if you are still here, thank you so much. And I will be speaking at you tomorrow. Thank you guys. See ya.